and give it up for David J. Hamilton! And I'm a veteran. I like to thank myself. That's right. Thank me for my service. Thank me. Thank you. Thank you. I worked for Uncle Sam. I would have worked for my other uncle, but he was in jail, so uncle's an uncle. You know. They had me out there in Iraq. But y'all don't know, I didn't have a killer instinct. I ain't had a killer instinct. Y'all in Harlem, y'all do that all the time. I wasn't ready. I should have came to Harlem for my training. But before I was in the army, I was a dancer. Yeah, not like a Diddy dancer, but like a ballet dancer. Yeah, so I was the only nigga in Iraq like, don't shoot me. <laughs> the IEDs, I was like, nope. <laughs> and I'm back, I'm here, I'm alive, yeah. So happy to be in Harlem, so happy to be in Harlem. Harlem, the home of Cameron and Crack, yes. That's right, pink furs and pink caps. That's right. Anybody here doing crack? Anyone? Anyone? You can be honest. It's a safe space. Crack is whack. That's what they. It's whack. I, it's, I know. I know. You guys are so excited because you made a little mural here in Harlem. But maybe we got it wrong. Maybe we got it wrong. Maybe we got it wrong. What's the side effects of crack? I googled it on the crack of the Wikipedia page. It said, <laughs> if you go on the Wikipedia page, euphoria and super strength. I'm going to be really happy and real strong. What's wrong with that? <laughs> it's not the crack that kills you. It's the stealing of the VCRs <laughs> or the crack. It's every time. And if you still got a VCR, brother, you look like you got a VCR. If you still got a VCR, that means that's all you got left. Or you said crack trap. <laughs> Caught you. But I'm not here to talk about that. <laughs> we did have a pandemic. If there was any time to try it, that kind of was the opportunity. They sent you three tracks, three checks. You didn't have to set nobody's dick. Uh, anybody was wearing Crocs and sweatpants? He was already dressed like a crackhead. I don't know. I don't know. I just believe there's a different way to see everything. There's a different way to see everything. Like cheating. Anybody ever been cheated on? Had their heart broken? You had your heart broken. How did it make you feel? Sad. Did you frown? That's why they say it's frowned upon. <laughs> now let's do an honest check. Let's do an honest check. Anybody in this room do the cheating? Yeah. How you, right? How'd you feel when you did the cheating? Turn that frown upside down. Come on, church. Amen. All right. You know what the pastor is that take a <laughs> I just had to make sure I was a veteran. It's mad hot. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I believe, and sometimes you be in a relationship, and the only way to keep that relationship is to cheat. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I don't know. If you've never cheated before, I want you to know it's not as hard as it looks. <laughs> nah, it's like one of those TikTok dances. You've got to practice. If you practice long enough, <laughs> you will know. And if you're good at it, put it on a resume. That's right. Your references are Brenda, Letitia, Dawn, Sean. <laughs> Crazy. I just come from a different time. That's probably why I'm a young guy. I'm an old young brother. Like I've been here for a while. You know, I'm a better. That jacket don't even make this pattern no more. I come from the time when they had hand. You know, when handwritten letters. Remember handwritten letters? Handwritten letters. Yeah, that's, that's a vintage thing. You know who got the best handwritten letters? Prisoners. That's right. If you want a deep, meaningful letter, lock somebody up. <laughs> if you want a beautifully written, handwritten letter, lock them up. Lock them up. Back in the day, back in the day when you wanted to, when you saw somebody you liked, 
you, what did you do? You sent them a handwritten letter. That's right. You said, do you like me, yes or no? Back then, when you wanted to break up, you couldn't just break up. You had to send them a handwritten, you had to submit a letter of resignation. I don't know about all this new technology. You ain't gonna ghost me. You can't just quit. <laughs> and like my mom always said, don't quit, get fired. <laughs> and you know how they used to fire? With a handwritten letter. <laughs> so you probably can tell I'm divorced. <laughs> divorced. I wish you would have sent me a handwritten letter. I wish you, you tried to holler, because you can call me several one day. Because uh, they find people that don't have handwritten we don't, we don't connect anymore because we don't have, they back there writing handwritten letters. Uh, we don't have handwritten letters, now we just, we just communicate through text and we just fire people through, through email and, and tweet. You ever got tweet fired? That's how my wife divorced me with a tweet. She was like, I'm at divorcing you. So we did a whole digital divorce. We did the, we did, the court proceedings was on Zoom. They awarded her. Uh, she got half my Hulu in the divorce. <laughs> I only need to see my Disney Plus on weekends, you know. Damn, I can't wait till tonight. Oh shit, it's the weekend. Give it up to 11 11, make a wish. Yeah, I wish I was performing at the New York Comedy Festival in, in Harlem. It's crazy too, because as men we do this stupid thing where we go out and we find somebody that reminds us. Give it up to the vets. Give it up to the vets. Give it up to the vets. Yeah, give it up. Cash at me. Cash send nudes, you know. <laughs> However you want to give it up to the vets. Pay my time. <laughs> I left it open. Uh, <laughs> okay. Women smart, y'all be looking at the, the birth charts and the signs. He a Gemini, don't marry him. <laughs> but we be like, you remind me of my mom. We want somebody like our mom who also will suck our dicks. <laughs> Just like mom. Leave some snacks out. Remind us to wipe our ass. And occasionally suck our dicks. Just every now and then, you know. I don't want to clean my room. I'll suck. <laughs> but not me. I knew better. I knew better because when you know better, you do better. My last lady was not like my mom. She was more like my dad. She left. <laughs> she left. She left. She left. I had to put an ad on the milk carton. Tell me, have you seen her? <laughs> and it's been hard because ever since she left, all my days have been the same. It's peaceful. It's hard. It's so hard doing whatever you want, whenever you want to do it. <laughs> it's so hard leaving your phone unlocked. <laughs> you know, you used to come home and have to leave my whole phone. Uh, yep, it's broke. <laughs> Peaceful, I'm doing nasty stuff. I'm like walking around the house looking like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> no pants, just a t-shirt on. Just honey stuck to my legs. <laughs> just honey, ooh. Just wipe it off, you nasty. Ain't nobody here. 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 Y'all watching the news? No? Who said no? I hear you, brother. I hear I'm with my brother right there. I ain't as ignorant of him, but I I don't watch it, but I try to read it. I say try because I'm a little dyslexic, so sometimes I misread it. <laughs> okay? So I don't know why y'all was all mad at Kanye West, because I'm anti-semantics too. I saw me on last because you ain't going to college, you don't know what semantics are, but I don't want nobody telling me how to structure my sentences. <laughs> Kobe is coming back, I'm antiseptic, baby. I'm trying to kill the germs, not the Jews. <laughs> not the Jews, they're good. <laughs> if you're any Jews in here and you're booking people, my name's David J. Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> I do shows with my hat on too, I still got my hair. Give it up for Brother Sue, got the hair. Oh man, I gotta get out of here. Listen, you guys have been wonderful. Get up here. Harlem, I fucking love this place. I love this place. Wait on, y'all ain't seen that. I ain't know that. I wasn't here for the warning message. Um, what am I gonna get out of here on? I'm a vet. 
I'm doing handwritten letters. Um, I'm a good cheat. Anybody looking? Anybody got a pet? Anybody looking to adopt? Anybody looking to adopt? You know, need a rescue? I got all my shout outs. Anybody got a pet? Anybody looking to adopt? 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 Anybody looking to E. Yeah, I thought you spell my name. Uh, I'm David J. Hamilton. I'm just so grateful. Get up for Rashad. Get up for Harlem Knight. Thank you so much. Yes, we do.